Okay, where we are at today with the planer stand. Yesterday's video showed you guys the stretchers put in place, this thing together. We can reef on it, she's not going anywhere. So today I'm working on getting the planer mounted and getting the rollers mounted. Now I was going to go and recess these down into the top, but I got thinking if I ever get another planer, and chances are I will probably upgrade to a bigger four mounted unit at some point. Um, there might even be a tool on the way from Washington State that uh, will be very neat to have. We'll see. But anyway, I decided to mount these on top. Reason being, this base right here would make a hell of a workbench base for me down the line. So if I ever go to do anything different, we will probably uh, use this for something else. So if I if I mount the rollers this way, I don't have any of the notches or any of that stuff to contend with. Not that it's a big deal, but I decided, keeping with the theme of the pine and black walnut, we will uh, use some black walnut to hold these rollers in place. Now, I have a couple in place already, good and strong, not going to go anywhere. Uh, the bearings in this one are a little rough, but they'll be all right for what we're doing. This one's nice and smooth. The rest of them are too. So all we're doing is, let me see if I can get you a good shot here. We're going to trace out those roller ends, cut them out on the uh, scroll saw, set these right over. I'm leaving these a little bit shy so that it really sucks those things down tight when we run the screws in. If you look... Let me move you around a little bit. So if you look right here, we've countersunk some screws into there. They're two and a half inch long screws. Not going anywhere. It's not glued or anything, we're just relying on the screws. I'm not going to plug those screw holes because if I want to ever get take this apart, I don't want to have to drill plugs out and then ruin a drill bit doing it. So it's not a big deal. It's just sitting in a shop. So what we're going to do now, uh, we're going to show you guys how we, uh, we'll show you guys how we make these here. There's nothing really to it. A lot of scroll saw work, which I'm not the best on a scroll saw, but we get by just fine. As long as they fit over and these rollers don't move, I'm a happy camper. And then after that, we have to mount our planer in the middle. We can set this thing in its final home because I don't want to move this too many times. I do have an idea for casters, but I'm not worrying about it right now. I'd rather have it where it's going to live and start using it because I've got a pretty good house project coming up for you guys, some cabinet work. So anyway, here we go.
one side. Nothing real scientific here, guys. I'm just kind of centering the screws, and I think with this one, because we get a little bit of a rock going on here, I think I'm just going to do the center one first. Move, didn't it? Bastard. shelf project that got nixed because the plans in the house changed so we're doing something a little different in there so all this was for nothing but they get us a nice piece of home for this project camera battery died on me when I was putting this putting this piece of elm in here so anyway where we are at we put our level across here a six foot level like I said it's more useful as a straight edge because it's not worth a shit as a level because we want to make sure these rollers in the bed all line up and they line up really nicely so now that that's in place we could screw this thing down this probably isn't the final spot for this uh, planer but it's a start now it's not giving me a it's not like I have a big huge out feed and in feed but it's a hell of a lot better than just relying on these little cheap chintzy ass uh, metal fold down tables that come with it um, to be honest with you I almost feel guilty putting this lunchbox planer on top of this nice, uh, nice stand so I think once we upgrade the planer, this will definitely get turned into a workbench. 
So I'm only using, uh, I use these, <coughs> these exterior wood screws for a lot of stuff. They grip really well and they're easy to take apart and take out. Um, they actually work super nice. But uh, a lot of times, depending on what it is, I'd send like a piece of 3H threaded rod through here. But believe me when I say this will hold it in place just fine. Boy, I'm not even going to know what this is the first time in my life. I have had a decent planer stand. I have wrestled this planer around for years. Look at that, nice and solid. I've wrestled this thing around for years. And just having a permanent spot is going to be so nice. So, shall we test it out? Let's see how she goes. See if we can vibrate the shit out of the camera. Maybe I'll mount the GoPro up in the ceiling above and put it on regular narrow and see what happens. Yeah, it, it is kind of evil to put that planer on that nice stand. Hmm. Now yeah, what do you do? It'll work. That's what we want it for. Well, there she is, everybody. We finally have a usable planer stand, so hopefully, uh, hopefully we get some years of use out of this thing. I think we will. But like I said, if something doesn't work, the day I upgrade the planer, this thing's going to get turned into a nice workbench base because this thing is solid. So anyway, that's her. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, series. When it gets warm enough out, we'll be putting some poly on it. But uh, I'm not going to do it if it's too cold for it. It's perfectly usable the way it is, but I do want it kind of shined up a little bit so this walnut and whatnot pops. So we still have a lot of sanding, things like that. But for right now, this is how the project's going to sit so I can get on to the next thing. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one.